it's a day in the life of the student athlete, and I will, will introduce Bubba Cunningham, the director of athletics, and, and he will introduce the student athletes. We have a great group of students to, uh, to talk about their experience at the University of North Carolina. We have some scholarship student athletes, some walk-ons. We have some that play football, basketball, gymnastics, softball. It'll give you a good cross-section and good variety of the students that represent us across the country and on this campus. They have done an incredible job throughout their lives as high school students and now as, as collegiate student athletes. And it's a real pleasure to come to work every day to work with students like this. They are outstanding representatives and we could not be more proud of what they do. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Tim Scott and myself and my five fellow student athletes are very uh, welcomed here and giving you the life of a student athlete here. Uh, at Carolina is a very special place and uh, to give you the opportunity to explain what we go through every day and the extra activity that we go with outside of football is, is a great opportunity to give to you guys today. And um, throughout we'll give you uh, the day of the football, the football life, just student athlete life, um, the extra activities as in the leadership programs and the MAP programs. You know, I've learned a lot of things since I've been at Carolina. Um, none more, I think, than knowing that uh, football especially and, and playing a Division I sport uh, at this level is not for everybody. Um, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. Um, but we love it, and, and that's why we do it, and that's why most of us are here. I will say this, the people that, uh, that come here and, and can, uh, can fight through it and, and can make it uh, you know, are usually some of the most self-disciplined uh, people that, that you'll meet in your life and, and ones who, who, uh, who can manage their time well. You know, football has, has helped in, in so many ways. Um, you know, I, I can't even describe. And, you know, to, to be able to come here and play uh, at this level and, and to have the academics here as well has, has been a, a, great, a great thing for me, and I'm very proud of it. Uh, the MAP program, as you see on the screen, stands for My Academic Plan. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's for all first-year students. Um, it's for returners who have, like, academic issues, and it's for transfers. And what My Academic Plan is, it's a set schedule for you to manage uh, class and your study-based time for that class. My Academic Plan for me has helped me become more um, become more like organized with my schoolwork and it's, it's, it teaches you like responsibility because without it I probably would not be here right now because it, it definitely helps um, as far as maintaining like not only getting your work done but getting it done the right way. The Leadership Academy was established 10 years ago by former athletic director Dick Bador and it was because he recognized that what won championships was leadership and having strong leadership on teams. And so this year, I did a reevaluation through the 360 program and um, was able to attain the leader of distinction designation. So that was a big victory for me. Um, and for me, it just showed the growth that I've had through the Leadership Academy. And so I think for me, the program has certainly helped me be a better leader on my team, but it's certainly helped me in other areas as well. Leadership is one of those things that, you know, it applies to every single thing you do. And so I think it's a huge component of what student athletes um, get as a student here. And for me, it's been very invaluable. The Carolina Outreach mission is to work together with fellow student athletes to give back to the community with our time, resources, and talents, and to reach out to those less fortunate than ourselves. Specifically, I'm gonna talk about Champions for Change, which is a program that I created for the softball team this year. Um, that helps integrate people with disabilities into the community. We've had two uh, Champions for Change games against Syracuse and Maryland and had two families that were very gracious for what we did and the, the whole team just really enjoyed it and we had a, we had a blast with the families. I mean, you know, every day is a grind, but, you know, we do it because we love it and the people are so ready to help um, and they're always there for you. Uh, and they want you to succeed, which is very important. You know, obviously our coaches and stuff want us to succeed on the court, but uh, off the court we have a support staff here like no other, and that's one of the main reasons I chose to come here. Uh, my mom's a teacher, and she's very um, hard on me academically, um, and you know I live really far away from home, so she wanted to make sure I was in a place where I'd be able to su to succeed academically, um, and, you know, have people there to help me. Um, and when I came here and saw the, you know, Louder Milk Center and uh, listened to how they really take care of their athletes and, and push them in the classroom, 
and really specialize from individual to individual. The reason that this is separated from the others, and it, it's a really a clear choice to choose this place, is because of the work that we do academically and, and the stress that they put on how important that is uh, for athletes to be successful here. So I just want to um, make sure that everyone realizes how lucky we are to have the support staff that we have um, and to have you know just the resources available to, to be successful in the classroom. And you're great examples of student athletes at this school. So I'm curious to know your take on that. Has anybody restricted your freedom of study? And do you feel that you're told what you will take class-wise? I picked journalism just because I knew it was a great school at UNC and there was no real influence from my advisor. It was just kind of like, here are the programs and here are the good ones and here are the ones that, you know, that she just kind of like laid it all out. And I had the option of choosing my major. Um, my freshman year, I did have a professor. It was a first year seminar professor who um, asked what I was interested in studying. And I told him about medical engineering. And he said to my face that, oh, you're a student athlete. You shouldn't choose that major. And so that was a red flag for me. And I went to my academic advisor. And you know he completely was like, no, if you want to major in that, you can. You have every right to. But um, for me, it was definitely an experience as a freshman coming in where um, it wasn't the most positive experience. And I did end up changing my major like 12 times. Um, <laughs> but, um, and so for me, it ended up being two different departments that I found a home in. But I do think there are some limitations. Um, and his point was not that you're not capable of that because you're a student athlete. His point was that your schedule will not allow it. You have to take 127 hours or 128 hours, and you have to take six or seven labs. And he knew that a, st a student athlete didn't have very many afternoons. And so it wasn't because he didn't believe that I was capable, but he knew the limitations of our schedule. And I think that is a challenge that a lot of us face. They asked me, they said, well, what do you, what do you wanna, what are you looking to major in? And I was like, no, I wanna do exercise and sports science. Um, and you know, you, you tell a lot of people that, and they say, uh, typical athlete, no, I, I love, I love the, the part of that. I love sports. I wanna be around sports. I wanna be a trainer when I'm older. And, some people uh, don't understand how hard that is. You know, taking anat anatomy is one of the hardest classes on campus. I had to take that this summer. Um, you know, it, it's tough. But, you know, I, I, my aunt graduated from here, uh, my mom's sister, and she got her degree in nursing. And that's what I originally wanted to do. You know, he, he watched all those shows, like Grey's Anatomy and everything. And, <laughs> and it, it seems pretty cool being in a hospital. And I wanted to do that. And I learned quickly that I. I wasn't going to be able to, you know, the time just didn't allow me. And that's okay because, you know, I love what I do with football and, you know, some things got to give, you know, but I can still get a great, you know, degree in the exercise and sports science field. And, um, you know, no one, you know, no one, none of my academic advisors have, have pushed me one way or another. Um, they've all been supportive. Um, they want to see me, you know, do what I love and they want to see me you know, excel in the field that I, that I choose to study. So. There was definitely no one telling us what we had to do or what classes or even pushing us um, or suggesting a major. You know, they just, um, they did a great job of trying to feel out what we were interested in. Uh, when I came on my visit as a senior, I really wanted to major in English. Uh, I was big into English at the time. I loved to read. Um, when I got here, you know, I changed, you know, and then no problems. You know, everything was smooth. They just wanted to, you know, know what I was interested in. I told them, I was thinking about doing PR, or, you know, something in the journalism school. I've read a lot about it. It's, it's, a, it's a great school, and I think that's my best opportunity to, to move forward. And they were very cool with it. There was no problems. Um, and they're very supportive. They don't try to push you to do anything. They just want to know what you like to do and then try to work with you from there.